Here are three of the best ultralight camping stoves for bike packing or backpacking. Let's jump right into the video. In this video, we're gonna talk about propane or butane canisters. We're gonna talk about wood burning stoves, and we're also gonna talk about spirit or alcohol burners. Before we jump into the video, I wanna make it clear that none of these stoves that I'm gonna talk about today are sponsored. I bought all of these with my own money, and I bought them for testing and to see what I like the best for camping. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is an isobutane or propane type stove. This is a DIY kit that I built out from different parts, and I'll show you what's inside. The cup that I have with this it comes with this bag, so it's super nice, convenient, keeps it from rattling around or scraping inside of your bag, whether you're bike packing or backpacking. And you'll see it's the Lixada, and it is a 650 milliliter. Some people use 420 milliliter, but I found that this size is really nice because you can fit a lot more in here and have enough water so that you can use it not only for like a hot chocolate or coffee, but also for your mill. So opening it up, I have it just with this little rubber band to make sure that things are secure. And it has this little top here. You take the lid off and you can see right in here, there's all kinds of contents that we have. So the first thing, a lighter. You can also use a flint and steel. And then a nice little thing to have here is this titanium knife. You can use it for quite a few different things but allows you to just have that with you if you need it. it. Doesn't take up very much space at all. And if you have the space, you might as well use it. The next thing in here you can see, I have a little paper towel to keep it from scraping up the, the uh, cup or pot. And this right here is where the magic happens. This is the stove, very small. People say you can either spend a lot of money or not very much money on these. And honestly, I think you just look at the reviews and you really don't have to spend that much money on these things. I think this one I got on Amazon for like under 20 bucks. So you just fold the feet out like that and you put it right on the top of the canister. And then this right here, uh, pulled right out and you can see the size. There's a lot of different sizes for these and you need to have a specific size that it will, so it will fit in this cup. I'll make sure I link all these down in the description so you can check them out for yourself. But really nice, it fits in there. It's like perfect size. This one right here, I think it's 100 milliliters. Uh, 100 grams, sorry. Yeah, so really small. Just clip that off, and then you can just screw this on right on top. And then with that on top, you can have the cup on top of there and be able to boil water or have oatmeal, different types of things in there. You can also cook with a flat pan if you have something that way. So a stove like this is gonna be really nice if you're going a lot of different places where you might not wanna set up a little campfire or leave any trace. All you have to have is the canister with the stove and your pot on top so you can put it anywhere and you're not gonna have any troubles with where you're allowed to have it. Another thing that's great about this is the price. It was really cheap to put this all together between all the different pieces. It's under 40 or 50 bucks for everything and it's super compact so you can put it in your backpack or in your bike packing bags put it in the front of your handlebars and it's going to take hardly any space up so it's definitely convenient and i'd say as long as you're going for just a few nights you're going to be good to go with this little 100 gram canister you can always bring extra though if you're going for more than four or five days okay so the second category we're going to look at is this transia spirit burner also known as an alcohol stove so these you may have seen people have built these out of pop cans or different things like that. This one's a really nice one because it comes with, it has this bag so you can keep it in to make sure you're not going to have anything leaking. And when there's black film on there, you're not going to have anything getting dirty. So here it is. Uh, you can see it's basically like a tin can and it has some really nice features to it. There's this little lid here you can pop off. So it gives you a nice little airflow. You can turn that. So it allows you to control how much heat is coming out of it and how much airflow is taking into it. So the next, next piece is you can actually take this top part off if you don't want to use that. And then inside of this is where you have 
the actual storage of the alcohol. So taking the lid off, you wanna make sure you're holding this upright because if you had liquid in there, you don't want it to spill. But it does have a sealed lid, so that is super handy. You're not gonna have to worry about when this is going in your bag and it's turning upside down. You shouldn't have any leaks if this is not damaged. So in my opinion, these types of stoves are really as simple as it gets. You just need to bring a little vial of alcohol to throw it in here, and then you can cook whatever you want, putting it right on top. There's also these bases that you can have underneath it, which are very convenient, but it makes it super easy. You just open it up, light it up, and you're good to start cooking and boiling. The downside I would say with these is it does take a little bit longer to boil water compared to some of the other options out there, but it's really handy. Again, just like the first option, you can use it wherever you want. You just gotta make sure that you don't accidentally spill some of that alcohol because it's super hard to actually see the flame. You could accidentally light up something and not even know it until it's too late. And to put these out, all you have to do is put the lid on top and it will extinguish it for you. Okay, now jumping into the third option for ultralight camping stoves. That's the Firebox Nano. It comes in this super nice case here, so you're not gonna have anything scraping up when you're carrying it. So the Firebox Nano is a great option. Steve at Firebox was really clever when he came up with this because there's three different options and uses for it. You can use it for a canister type stove, you can use it for wood, and you can use it for the one I just showed you, a spirit burner. Pulling it open, as you can see, it's this very small little compact thing. It comes with this felt that's also really helpful. And this tray, I've seen it used for putting the stove on top of to catch the ashes if you're doing a wood burning stove. All right, so setting up the Firebox Nano is really simple. It's basically a cube, you fold it open, you take out these little pins right here, which are used for a few different things. And then what you do is just fold down the bottom, just like this, until it's all the way down. So that allows you to have these feet, they pop out, and then you can set that on the ground, just like so. And that's where you could set your pot or different things like that. And another thing that's nice, it has these holes here, so it allows you to put little sticks in and have a small little fire in there. And with these walls, it really protects the wind, so you're not gonna have a lot of wind blowing in and putting out your fire. Another convenient thing about these is you can decide on if you wanna fold these in or fold these out. So you put them in, it allows for a lot smaller surface area on the top. So if you had a lot smaller pot, you can still put it on top and not worry about that falling. Or if you have a really wide frying pan, you can put that on top as well. Real quick, if you find value in this video, please hit that like button. It definitely helps out the channel to make YouTube promote this video more to those that like this type of content. And if you like this content, please subscribe. I'm gonna be putting a lot more bike packing videos out, specifically on ultralight gear that you can bring bike packing or backpacking, and really the adventures that I have while bike packing. So make sure to subscribe. All right, I'm gonna show you the use of using the spirit burner inside of the nano stove. All right, so you're gonna take these pins and you're gonna slide them into these little holes here and they're gonna do a little diagonal thing in the corner. So you slide it in one side, then it's gonna slide right through that other side and pin that down. So just like that, so you'll have them on both sides. All right, so once you have those little pins in there, just like so, it allows you to have this shelf and this was made specifically for the spirit burner so that it fits nice and perfectly in here. The top of the spirit burner right here to the bottom of the pan was the perfect distance to have the perfect boil. And if you want to, you can also take this out, take these pins out as well, and then you can put it in there in the bottom if you want a bigger distance between the spirit burner flames and the pot itself. So who would I recommend the Firebox Nano to? Well, I would say for those that are looking to have something that is not too difficult to set up and it's very versatile as well as durable, it's gonna last you a long time. I don't think you're gonna have any problems with this. You just gotta make sure that you follow a few of the rules that Firebox has, like treating the titanium correctly. Don't be dumping hot water on it uh, just when you finish cooking. You wanna let it cool off by itself. Don't throw it in the snow, things like that. It's gonna warp it. Um, so you just gotta be careful that way. 
keep good care of it and it'll last a long time. But I think it's really fun because if you want to use a fire and have a wood burning stove, you can still have like a no mess type cleanup area and have it on top of the case itself so you don't have to have a big black area wherever you're camping. I think the Firebox Nano fills this little desire in all of us that we want to have these little fire pits like we did when we were little. Um, you can put wood in there and have a nice stove going in pretty quick of a time. And it's super nice because if you have a little hatchet with you, you can cut up pieces and fit them in there really nicely and have a pretty long lasting slow burn. That's something that you can't quite get with the other two burners because uh, for one, wood is something you can find everywhere. You're never going to run out of fuel depending on where you are, but really you're going to be able to cook as much as you need to for however long you're going. It might just take a little bit of extra time to get it set up, get it heating, and then boiling some water. But if you're okay with those things and you like the feeling of having a fire, then I would definitely say go for this, the Firebox Nano. I think it's super fun and that's why I got it. But I also wanted to try out these other two stoves. And I think that this is probably my go-to out of these three options, just because it comes with the pot. You can have the canister in there, nice and stored. It's pretty lightweight and I can fill a few other things in there. So it's nice like single package. Whereas the other two, you still need to have the pot and you know, this won't fit in this pot. I can fit the alcohol stove in here right inside. So that's also a nice combination. But I'd say if I was going to choose one, I'd probably go with this one. All right, so that is going to wrap it up for this video for talking about three different ultralight camping stoves that you can bring on your bike packing or backpacking setup. I want to hear from you guys. What type of stove do you use? Do you use one of these three that I showed today or do you use a different one? Let me know down in the comments. I'll definitely look at those and respond as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.